Okay, I'm still considering Jack buying away from the UK at some point. I will have done this Jack buy away from the UK to somewhere else a long time ago when my kids were much, much younger. It would have been easier to, you know, migrate with them easily. But now they are all older. They are, they are now going to uni now. So it's going to be a bit difficult for me to now say, so yeah, now let's go somewhere. <music> Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Wemimo and I'm also known as Tatmom5 and also known as TMO5 Candle Co. If you are new to my channel, welcome and if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for always coming back. So right now I'm in a different <laughs> in a different environment as to when I make my videos. So I've just quickly come for an appointment and I'm in the car before heading out to work. So um this video is mainly to come maybe just a chat a short chat about the the new changes um that the home office made recently which meant that the home office banned um COS for care workers coming into the UK which meant that um care workers coming into the UK would no longer be able to come with their dependents and in a way there's been a lot of uproar in regards to that ban you know especially nigerians nigerians took that in a very 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 negative way like every social media platform that i go on to you see how nigerians are kind of like berating um, the uk government and i feel i understand where nigerians and other countries were impacted i understand where they are coming from and i believe i understand the uk government also for that action they took you know what the thing with the with the thing with the uk government is this that most of their policies do not last forever they have the tendency of you know changing their policies as at when due so now the question is do i agree to the ban made by the uk government and i will say my response is 50 50 yes and no i don't have a definite answer for that so there's been a lot of um you know british mps um british media and british pastors like different societies all condemning the fact that the home office banned um care um caregivers from i mean caregivers who are migrants from coming with their dependents and we will also think that or we might, we might be able to question the fact that the uk government believes in you know f family like a, a an extended like a standard family so why would they want immigrants to come into the country and not come with their dependent because they know that obviously they believe in the union of, of a family so why would they expect that someone is coming to fill in the shortages in their own country and they thought it wouldn't make sense if that person or that immigrant coming into their country to help out not come with their dependents or with their family and also the argument of the uk government is that they have a quota they have a, a certain percentage of immigrants they want to come into the uk and once that quota has been reached then they can close the border however in these regards i think what happened was that yes the home office had a, a certain percentage of immigrants that they want to come into the uk to fill the sh um, the job shortages on that that career which is the caregiver's job so let's say for example this is just an example let's say they have a a seven percent quota for immigrants coming into the uk to fill that sector however when the immigrants came in and by the time they had their dependents, it's exceeded the 7% they were expecting. And they actually reached the 7% they were expecting sooner as compared to over a time frame. They expected that figure to be, you know, to be achieved. So, in a way, and this is my own opinion, why I do not agree with the UK government banning care givers or immigrants coming to the uk with their dependencies and like i said this government believes in a family union like they believe in the whole family a, a partner a mother a husband a father children together and we all and they also know that no household no family can actually succeed or survive if they are not intact if they are not all into one places and also the home office is expecting that a care worker would at least earn at least maybe from 10 pounds 75 pounds and 10 pounds 75 pence an hour with an estimated annual income of over 20,000 pounds so if a, 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 a an immigrant who is in the uk without their dependents coming to the uk and they are earning 20,000 pounds or let's say let's give it a round figure 21,000 pounds per annum so how much will a monthly salary be for them 
and it's within this salary that they will have to send money home to their relatives to their loved ones and at some point they would want to visit so it's just not feasible for an immigrant without their independent year to survive on 20,000 or 21,000 pounds per annum and then be able to support their family back home and also you know send money back home or even visit back home so I just felt that in that aspect I do not agree with the UK government banning the you know migrants from coming into the UK and also um, issue of COS and the reason why I said I agree with the Home Office making, making um, implementing this ban is the fact that like I said one they've actually met their their targets of how much or how the percentage of immigrants they want to come into the uk they already met that target they've exceeded that target and they are struggling because they've over exceeded that target within the time frame they thought they were going to be able to fill the target of immigrants they want to they want to come fill that care sector job and then secondly why i agree with them is the so in regards to them reaching their target they are now struggling because as we all know the nhs in the uk is struggling the nhs is struggling there's lots of waiting times like if god forbid you have an accident and then you go into an emergency now they're saying that the four hour wait time before you can be seen is going to be scrapped i remember when i can't remember how long ago when i was in a, i went to a and he i think i went with my daughter because she fractured one of her, her fingers we were in a and e for 12 hours Within that 12 hour, she was called once so they could check her observation and kind of like assess her. But we're not able to see a doctor or even get an x-ray done until after 12 hours of waiting. You can imagine if that was a life-threatening life incident. Maybe in a life-threatening incident, they will have prioritized it, but it depends on how life-threatening the situation could be or would be. So, that's why I said I agree with the Home Office with the ban. And the reason why I also agree with them, which is the second reason why I agree with them, is that the issue of certificate of sponsorship, I felt, obviously, they made this available for people to come into the UK under the care sector. However, people in the UK who have the access to um, COS licensing are now abusing it. So I felt, in a way, the Home Office banning caregivers from coming is the fact that you they also want to protect the people that have been used to make i mean they are also looking to protect immigrants that are coming into the uk you can imagine the only fee as an immigrant that you only pay to the home office to get your certificate of sponsorship is maybe less than 300 pounds and then i did share a video of that nigerian pastor who was charging nine thousand pounds for certificate of sponsorship so what was included in that certificate of sponsorship if you're a big employer you only have to pay for your license in order to be able to employ somebody who needs cos so if you are a large company, yes, you might pay maybe over a thousand pounds for that licensing. If you are a small company employing caregivers, your the amount you pay for licensing is not as much as if you have a bigger, I um, mean, um, recruiting people. But as an immigrant going to work with somebody in a company, the only amount of money you pay to the home office is for your certificate of sponsorship, and this is less than three hundred pounds. And then in that video that I said about that pastor, that pastor was charging nine thousand pounds was included in that nine thousand pounds are there visa fees are there accommodation are there tri are there flight tickets are there feeding i mean i really want to know what was included in that nine thousand pounds so people are taking people's money like they are getting rich off innocent people's money the money that that person could have used to settle themselves they are taking that money off so some people in the uk in the agency where they are employing care workers they are actually abusing that route hence why i agreed with the home office for the action they took so in a way they are protecting the immigrants that are coming from you know being made to suffer for no reason and also i saw i also share a video where some zimbabwean some zimbabwean people also came into the country they were charged over five thousand pounds each they were given logs they were painted luxury of coming to work here as a caregiver only for them to come here and it was nothing. They were living in an overcrowded room with many more people with no jobs. They were surviving on only maybe 20, 25 pounds a week. And they couldn't talk because they felt threatened. So I felt the Home Office did this action. The action they took, they did it in order to protect people who are coming. And at the end of the day, this is my own opinion, like I was saying. This application of coming into the UK, either for care routes or for other routes, I believe other care professionals have no impact i think nurses and doctors are not impacted in this ban i think it's only the people who are like 
caregivers who are coming under the um, care route they are the ones who have been stopped from bringing their dependents however and one thing i always say is this this application of visas you can actually do them yourself you don't need any agencies to make these applications for you because they are getting rich with your money you can actually just you know carry out your own research and you know you'll be fine when you when you take your time and make this application rather than enriching uh, some criminal's pocket here they are getting rich off your money because they know oh all of these will fall into you know yeah pay this also amount so that's the two reasons these are the two reasons why i felt i agree with the home office um cancelling that um the sponsorship route in terms of certificate of sponsorship and then my last words for people out here is that uk is not the end of the world when it comes to jackpot you all know i am team jackpot if you want to jackpot please do so with your full chest but don't go borrowing to jackpot to anywhere in the world so just like i was saying there uk should not be the limit i'm going to be sharing a video soon of other countries where you can jackpot to people are actually rushing off to canada and australia now and before we know it australia canada they are all going to fill up again and then those also do they will also come up and you know tr tightening their own borders as well so keep an eye out for um the video after this one i'll be sharing other countries where you can actually go we've got new zealand we've got other countries like beautiful places and there's a channel i normally watch there's a nigerian who's also in china you know you no know, i'm i'm going to be sharing those countries with you you know they they also have shortages of you know job shortages that they are looking for people to fill the roles for me here i'm still even though i'm in the uk i'm still considering jack buying away from the uk at some point i will have done this jack buy away from the uk to somewhere else a long time ago when my kids were much much younger it would have been easier to you know migrate with them easily but now they are all older they are they are now going to uni now so it's going to be a bit difficult for me to now say yeah now let's go somewhere but never say never am i i'm going to be leaving the uk at some point how soon that will be i'm not sure but i will be so this is just me coming here to say you know what uk is not the end of the road for you i like i said i believe the home office was actually protecting people who have fall prey to these bloody scammers in the uk who are you know abusing the, the route of you know charging people serious money and now the home office have implemented another agency an organization whereby all care employers would have to register before you know they can give them sponsorship before they can give them licensing and also i was reading a post on youtube last night about saying that all these care homes or all these agencies that are recruiting people that are actually charging exorbitant amount of money they are already registered with this care commission so how come they are getting away with abusing the the system but now they are very very more strict and when i say the home office is strict about registering with that commission there was a an employer also who came out to say you know what he already employed people who are immigrants now they need to renew their visas but the home office is delaying their visas because the home office already said that what whoever you employ for wherever they come from whatever visa they had before the, you employ them there's a guarantee they will always have that visa when they renew however you the employer i need you to give me maybe like an audit do you really need that do you really have that vacancy so if i don't so the home office had saying to employ if i don't renew the visa of this your staff would you be requiring the services of that staff member will there really be shortages like if that if we don't renew this um this immigrant's visa does that mean that you be, your staff list will be cut short? So they are wanting employers to give them the kind of vacancies they have. How else they, are, they will be losing if these immigrants are not if immigrants are not filling the spaces, you know? So these people are like, no, they are making it longer and they are having to pay immigrants now to stay at home because immigrants can't come into work until the home officers have already renewed their visas. But home officers are saying, we are going to renew their visa, but you, the employer, we need you to give us this information. Do you have this vacancy? How many hours will this vacancy cover what are you paying you know because at the end of the day we found out that some immigrants who are coming in through this care route are pay, being paid less even below the minimum wage which shouldn't be so these are the things that i'm supporting the office about it might feel a bit a bit like you know they are too harsh they are too hard but i felt the office are actually protecting people that are actually coming to help in the care sector so this is where i'm going to rest my mantle in regards to this topic in this video let me know what you think about the things i discussed in this video do you agree do you think um 
it was too harsh of the home office to say depend i mean immigrants who are coming to the care can bring their dependents let me know in the comment section have you been impacted in any way if you have been impacted in any way feel free to share your comments in the comment section as well and also if you don't agree with the home office feel free to drop your comments also as to your opinion why it felt the home office um, decision to ban um care dependents i mean dependents from coming over with their with their with their you know who's coming into the uk to work as a carer in the uk Put all your thoughts below in the comment section i'll be reading them and i'll try and you know reply to them to the best of my knowledge so if you've watched till now and you've not yet subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for so don't forget to like drop a comment in the comment section subscribe if you've not yet done so turn on the post notification so you don't miss any posts from me and don't forget to share this video as well and grow this family and i hope to catch up with you in my next video all right bye